see. First drive in the third quarter is always a tempo setter. For either side of the ball. For Rice, it's another drop. For SC, it's a ricochet catch. Pick six. And how about the effort of the transfer from Alabama? Welcome to the Pac-12, man. Such a hard question. Uh, who is Shane Lee? Shane Lee is just a regular person. Uh, just like everyone else, trying to figure out exactly what he, who he is, what he wants to do, and honestly, someone who just wants to enjoy the journey of life. Some differences between Bama and USC. Uh, I would just kind of say the kind of person that you meet out here. It's a, it's a lot more diverse out here. The landscape kind of provides the opportunity to do a lot more. So LA has that, or Cali in general, the West Coast, has that you know, laid back, chill vibe kind of thing. And so that's, that's its own beast. Uh, you know, Bama's more of like a, it's like, just like a big bar school football and it's not really too much else other than that and here you know you could get anything so it's a whole lot is there any impact that you're trying to make or that you believe that you're making right now yeah my, my goal in life my sole goal in life is to inspire people to live their best life and live their dreams out and i really want to kind of allow people to know that whatever they feel, like that smallest inkling in your heart that you think that maybe like I could live this life or maybe this could happen, like that can actually happen to you. So like, I wanna live my life in a way where I inspire people to believe in themselves in a way that is like full conviction in what they do and what they say and what they believe in themselves. And um, just trying to put love into the world and love into people and uh, spread that. What were some difficulties getting to where you are today? And that can include like friendships, relationships, school, mental, physical health. I think some of the biggest difficulties was knowing in my mind and in my heart, um, kind of seeing what everything could be like, like, you know, having goals and having aspirations and just kind of all the trials and tribulations that come along on that journey. Uh, being able to, you know, continue to get up and a lot of times like you might feel like or I feel like, okay, like after I after I handle this, then it'll be like good. Then I won't have to like worry about nothing else. But like in reality, like there's always gonna be challenges and things to overcome. And so I think that's probably the, the hardest thing is like it's always gonna be something that you have to face and overcome, whether it be friendships, whether it be yourself, whether it be situation, like I think to me, when I learned that, a lot of things became easier to me. My transition, it didn't happen the way I thought it would happen. Uh, especially like going to Bama, I definitely expected to sit a year and kind of have that first year learn and then, you know, step into my role sophomore, junior year and kind of have that same story that every other Bama person has. But like I was, I was thrown into the fire. Um, like it felt like I was, somebody, one of my mentors explained it to me like this. He said it's like drinking through a fire hydrant, which is like the perfect analogy for it because that's exactly what it felt like. So, like that first year was just, I was just bombarded um, and overwhelmed. But uh, now, kind of, you know, post injury, post Bama, kind of being able to look back and reflect on that time, uh, I love it and I appreciate it so much just because of all the clarity that it's brought me after the fact and just everything that I've learned and had to go through. Um, I guess the transition from high school to college is really just, 
understanding and knowing what it means to be resilient. Like that's that's the biggest thing that I think I've taken away from these past five years, I'd say. Just like like I said before, like when you get knocked down, like your only option is to get back up. Like everything's gonna keep moving. You gotta get back up. And so um that's honestly just something that you gotta carry through life. Like that's that's the only thing that'll you know bring you success and that's one thing I know. So just throughout the week, feeling all the energy, like Monday morning, like left out of meetings. And like I see the statue outside the building, like taped up. And I was like, automatically, I was like, okay, like this is a, this is a pretty unique experience. Like the energy is a little different this week. And you can really feel it on campus. You can feel it in the city. Like it was gonna be a big week and a, a big game. Uh, but honestly, for me, like, it's just the next game. Like, it's just something else that you got to do. It's just the next step. It's just the next thing. And um, just trying to not make it too much more than what it is. It's, it's still football. And uh, may the best team win. Robinson, he's got to settle himself down. Second down and 10. Thompson Robinson. Over the middle. Intercepted again. Shane. Shane Lee, a grad transfer linebacker, comes from that proud Alabama program.